I'm Samantha with Clawfoot Farm and um, we are doing a, today we're doing a collaboration with Back to Basics with Teresa and I will put a link to that collaboration in her channel uh, down below in the description. Um, but today the collaboration, the challenge is to make a meal for a family meal for five dollars or less. $1.79. All of our stuff. This is going to make a whole meal for our whole family. Um, so when I heard about this, I was on it. I was like, yeah, we make meals for $5 or less all the time. Uh, most of that is because we grow most of our own food, and so that really cuts the costs of, um, of what we eat. Um, however, uh, when I took this challenge, I kind of thought we were going to do it kind of like old Mother Hubbard. You know, it's dinner time, you go open the cupboard up, and there's nothing there. You have five dollars, you have a family to feed, what do you do? But let's cook dinner for five dollars. Okay, so the meal that we're going to cook today is a soup. Um, whenever I am short on money, short on ingredients, or short on time, I always go for a soup. A soup can sit on the stove all day. It can also go in a crock pot all day. Um, it, ha it uses like leftover ingredients, but you also can use like stretch your fresh ingredients and create a really nutritious and really yummy meal. Um, we have four people in our family, two adults and two um, growing boys, so we really need a good size meal. Um, and this recipe, if you have a larger family, you can always double this recipe. You can also, um, if you have a smaller family or are just cooking for yourself, you can also um, have this also. Um, but I usually, when I'm making soup, I will like double or triple the recipe and then I will can it. Uh, so then, when I'm short on time, short on money, short on ingredients, I can just go to the pantry and pull out an already made meal and just you know bring it out of the pan, or bring it out of the jar and warm it up on the stove. But today we're gonna make just a um, single recipe, and we're going to make split pea soup. So for split pea soup, you just need a packet of split peas and this is a one pound packet. You can buy split peas in bulk, you can buy bigger packets, uh, but for this meal for five dollars, if you only had five dollars and were going to the store, uh, just buy a one pound pack of the green split peas. I have three carrots and again you can buy carrots in bigger packages. I actually just went and bought three single carrots and we need one onion. So what we're going to do first is chop up the onion and then we're going to chop up the carrots and put them on the stove. Okay, so here's three carrots and one onion all chopped up. We're just gonna put that in the pan. So we're at the stove now, and I have a pot on the stove, uh, and it's on medium heat, and it, I put a couple of glugs of olive oil in the bottom. You could also use a vegetable oil or grapeseed oil um, in there, or lard if you have that, and just put it in there. 
Um, and so that was warming up while I was chopping the onions and the carrots. So here's our onions and carrots, and I'm just gonna put that right into the pan. And we're gonna let these uh, cook a little bit just until the onions are uh, translucent and the carrots have softened up just a little bit. Um, and while they're doing this, um, this, will, this will take about, um, about five to 10 minutes, depending on your stove. And while they're doing this, we're gonna go open the split peas and rinse those. Okay, we're back at the sink. And so we've got our pound of split peas and we're actually going to only use half of this. So this is a pound of split peas is about two cups. For this recipe, we're just using one cup. So I just put my hand, I just grab the, I mean, you can use a measure also, but I just grab the bag and put my hand right about half way through. Make sure I don't squeeze them out. And I just squeeze it around here. So there's about half and there's about half. And I put that right into my colander. And this you can save for another day. And then we're gonna rinse those out. You always want to rinse your split peas just to get any dust or any debris in there. And then also like just take a look and make sure that everything is good. Any kind, anytime you use a dried legume, you're going to do that. All right, so these are rinsed. So the carrots and the onions have been cooking for about 10 minutes. And the um, carrots are just starting to soften up and the onions are getting a little translucent, so you can see through them a little bit. So now we're going to add those split peas that we rinsed out, and they've been draining in the colander, so I'm just gonna dump those right in there. And we're still on medium heat. Yep, I'm still on a medium heat. Um, and I'm just gonna stir these up in here, and now we want to add four cups of a liquid. So for this challenge, at staying at $5, um, I am going to add four cups of water. However, if you have, um, when I usually make it, we always have stocks and broths on hand in the pantry. Um, it does taste a lot uh, better and a lot richer if you use a stock. Um, I typically will use uh, two cups of a, a, veg a vegetable broth um, and then two cups of a chicken broth or rabbit broth. Um, so, but what you want is uh, four cups. So what you want to do is four cups of liquid. So we're going to add four cups of water in there right now. If you have these on hand, um, you can also add a bay leaf and um, I would also add a, um, like a half of a teaspoon of dried marjoram. Uh, to the pot but that's not part of our five dollars so we're not doing that today um, I am kind of going to assume that you have salt and pepper at your house and so I am going to add um, about a teaspoon of salt and about a half a teaspoon of pepper okay so we have salt and pepper added we have our four cups of liquid added and now we just are going to um, bring this up to temperature so that it will just start simmering and once it starts simmering I'm going to put the lid on and turn it down to low and just let it cook it's going to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes I'm going to check it every now and then just to make sure it's cooking that the water the liquid is still in there um, the peas will break down and it will absorb all the liquid and you'll end up with a nice and creamy soup. All right, well, it's been about an hour. I actually went outside and because it's such a beautiful day and was pulling some weeds in the garden. So, um, so I lost track of time and it's been about an hour, but we're going to check the soup and um, I think it's, I think it's ready. Ooh, it's hot. Alrighty, well, it is bubbling. The peas have broken all the way down. 
and we give a spoonful of this. So the peas and onions have broken down and you see how it's just this creamy, um, just creamy, almost like a stew, but like a soup as well. Uh, this, we like, our family likes this just like this is. So we'll just put this right from here into our bowls and eat it. Uh, because they do like to be able to see the carrots and they like it chunky. Um, if you want a creamy soup where it's all the way creamy, um, you can just take this and put it into your uh, food processor or a blender and blend it up in portions and then put it back in um, and keep it warm. And there you go. Split pea soup for under $5 and I actually had enough money left over to buy a long baguette. And so we will be having the baguette along with the soup and um, to make a complete meal. Here's my receipt and here you go. This was $4.38. The onion was 47 cents. The carrots were 62 cents. And there we go. The split peas were $1.50. And the bread was 179.